Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you back. And many times people tell me that could you make a video on uh, timing a promotion? So here is an example chart. Uh, by this, we can understand how to time a promotion. Now, this is just an example chart and there are so many things which you will see here may also be there in your chart which is not necessarily good or bad for you also okay so that's the disclaimer don't take things out of context and be tensed okay all right so as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation regarding your career or promotion then please go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him all right so this this person is born on 15th march 1981 1:45 pm mumbai maharashtra india and <clears throat> this is the lagna chart which you see here and this is the bhava chart here okay this one which you see here and most of you are not aware of what is a bhava chart so please go to my bhava chart video you can type exotic astrology bhava chart okay uh, you will find it so so let's check what's going on if you check this horoscope you will see uh, prominent factors like sun and mars are dig bali in the 10th house they have directional strength uh, in the lagna chart and then uh, we have the lagna lord which is mercury in the ninth house right that is what it seems in the lagna chart but that's where you go wrong because uh, if you check the bhava chart the house the bhava chart represents the house okay where the planet is sitting in the results which he gives so if you check here mercury as the lagna lord is in the eighth house and the sun and mars are not having direction and strength okay so please do not judge uh, placements from the lagna chart otherwise you are bound to make blunders and then uh, this person might uh, be having great dashas of sun and mars he may be thinking oh why am i not having a promotion now of course ninth house is not a bad house i didn't mean to say that but definitely for promotions you need the 10th house okay or the 11th house at the least okay so now mars mars is an exception because he is the lord of the 11th house in the bhav chart you see aries one is written here so mars can give him promotions uh, so mars is an except, exception but sun may not be able to give that okay because sun is not linked with the money houses uh, exclusively of course we can go to the level of nakshatras and see what is happening sun is in the nakshatra of purva bhadrapada okay who is uh, ruled by uh, jupiter so jupiter is the 10th lord so therefore sun is also quite positive for promotions but at a first glance you may not say that okay but when you go to the level of nakshatras you will see oh yes it is positive okay so that's how you use astrology not that you just see the planet oh it's in 10th house so now in this sun dasha the person might have had a promotion but you will think oh it's in the 10th house that's why it's having a promotion but no it is because he is in the nakshatra of the 10th lord that is why the promotion is happening okay all right having said that now uh, let us see overall how is the horoscope for career and finances so for that i always say you must check the planets uh, overall uh, how much to what extent they are linked to the money houses okay so the second house 6th house 10th house 11th house so in this chart if you see uh, what about sun sun is in the nakshatra of the 10th lord okay what about moon moon is in punarvasu again okay punarvasu nakshatra <coughs> here if you see uh, where is moon here oh yes moon is there in the ascendant all right so moon is there in the ascendant and also he is in gemini all right but rahu is in cancer but he is still in the ascendant okay so punarvasu is um, a very important nakshatra because he is also lorded by jupiter as you know so now the thing is um, what about mars if you check mars 
he is in uttara bhadrapada which is lorded by saturn now is saturn related that is the question saturn is he related to the money houses well uh, he doesn't seem to be neither is he ruling these four houses nor is he placed there okay so saturn is nowhere linked so that means mars also doesn't seem to be quite good but one advantage is mars is the 11th lord so that's great what about mercury mercury is the lagna lord and he is in the eighth house and he's also the lord of the fourth house uh, again not linked with the money houses but he's in dhanishta nakshatra ruled by mars so again the 11th house is coming you see so jupiter is in uh, hasta nakshatra ruled by the moon who is the 10th lord and jupiter himself is the 10th lord and moon is the second lord so again finances now so you can judge all the planets like this you know saturn is also in moon's nakshatra hasta and venus is also in jupiter's nakshatra so overall this horoscope is very powerful so that means whenever this person gets a good dasha there will be rapid promotion okay so now this person is running mercury mahadasha currently so this person was born in 1981 so 1981 plus if you uh, add like you know 25 years approx so this comes to uh, 2006 okay so that means roughly around from 2004 2006 we have to check the dashas so if you check here from 2004 ending his mercury mahadasha started okay so because mercury is in the 8th house this person is into stocks and all this okay uh and now um, see what's going on here where is mercury mercury is in dhanishta nakshatra ruled by mars why do i say and he's also into insurance and inheritance because the 11th house is the house of money and 8th house is the house of unearned money okay so mars is the 11th lord and mercury is placed in his nakshatra so this makes it a uh, very good financially and also because of the fourth house he is involved with lot of property real estate work so he will make great progress in this okay so that means his mercury dasha when he looks back to his mercury dasha he will say oh yes these were great years okay so now he is running the dasha of saturn okay saturn antar dasha is going on uh, from march last year saturn is there till november next year so what does saturn indicate in the chart saturn does not indicate the money houses directly by placement he is the in the third house ruling the 8th and the 9th but he is if you check here in hasta nakshatra which is lorded by moon okay so what does moon say in the chart he is the second lord placed in the lagna okay so again a money house is indicated here okay so therefore uh, you can always say that uh, this this period could be a good period so there is a chance for promotion but then uh, if the person asks you specifically when the promotion could happen or because uh, there is like literally one more year okay so once you check the antar dasha if it is positive then you can use transit so now you see what's going on 21st october when i am recording this so sun has entered libra here okay and then uh, depending on his degree so it's like around 22 degree of scorpio so you can say the, by around december first week sun will enter his um sixth house by degree okay so in that uh, you, because on 15 november sun will enter scorpio but his degree is 22 degree you see so uh, his sun will only enter after 22 days so 22 and uh, from 15 if you add that's like first week of december that's why i said december first week so then during that time you could say that uh, it's a positive period so this is how you use dashas and transits and then one of the days when moon will either be in the second sixth tenth or eleventh okay in one of those days from maybe third december to third january okay this year december to next year january now uh, when within those one day the one day uh, these days one may, most probably when moon is either in pisces or in aries okay uh, because these are the strongest houses and depending on mercury venus where they join then you can say the person might have the interview or get the offer later or might uh, have the final negotiation regarding salary and all this okay 
so that is how you can time the promotion and uh, now the thing is what will be the stature of this promotion because um, saturn by nakshatra he indicates uh, the second house and explicitly does not indicate the 10th or the 11th i would uh, say that uh, it won't be a very big promotion now, I, I don't mean to say it won't be good but it will be some kind of a promotion there will be uh, his his status will improve uh, but uh, it won't be like uh, people would say oh wow that was a big promotion which he got so uh, the second house and sixth house shows linear growth okay so like three years you have worked in a position and then you get a promotion but the 10th house and the 11th house they are very special they show uh, exponential growth okay it's like you have bypassed three years five years of your career so it won't happen like that during this antardasha okay then he will be running ketu mahadasha so what about ketu hmm. ketu is very interesting you see but i will leave it to to uh, the viewers to comment what do you think what will happen in ketu mahadasha okay uh, because i have made a video a lot of videos on rahu and ketu how to analyze rahu and ketu okay so uh, but let me just give you some hint so um, what about ketu ketu uh, he is sitting alone there is no planet conjunct then is any other planet aspecting ketu yes aspect should be read from the lagna chart okay as i said not from the bhav chart okay so now you may think here oh uh, jupiter and ketu are aspecting each other in the bhav chart also but even if Jupiter was not aspecting Ketu in the bhav chart, you should have still considered the aspect because the aspect is there in the Lagna chart. So Ketu uh, is getting the aspect of Jupiter, which is the seventh lord and the tenth lord. Okay, so therefore things like business and promotions could be um, well a part of the game during this dasha. Okay, and which nakshatra is Ketu placed in? If you check here. Ketu is in Shravana Nakshatra. Okay, Shravana is again ruled by the moon. Okay, and therefore, so you see, Rahu is in Pushya Nakshatra. So, and but he is also in the second house. So, therefore, in this horoscope, most of his planets by placement, lordship, or by nakshatras are linked with the money houses. So that means. Now, this person will rise very high in life and achieve big things and have a lot of name, fame, power, position, authority. Okay. And yeah, that is how you know what will happen. Okay. And he could also move towards uh, teaching or consulting because uh, when Ketu Mahadasha starts, the lord of his, uh, dis the, the dispositor of Ketu, which is Saturn, is sitting in the third house of the Bhav chart, you see. So, therefore, uh, and when I say dispositor, that also you should check from the Lagna chart. So here you see Ketu uh, is in Capricorn. Okay. So Ketu's dispositor will always be Saturn. So you may be confused. You may see, oh, in the Bhav chart, he has moved to seventh house. You see, so nine is written there, Sagittarius. So maybe we have to check Jupiter. Okay. No, you do not have to check Jupiter. You always have to check Saturn. Okay. And the placements are taken from the bhav chart. So he is placed in the seventh house. Okay. Uh, but he's still in Capricorn and he is getting the aspect of uh, Jupiter from the Lagna chart. But that's a different story that here Jupiter has also moved. So it appears that Jupiter's fifth aspect is also falling in the bhav chart. Okay. But suppose Jupiter was here in this bhav chart and Ketu was here, then also you must have considered. And because he's the 10th Lord, so therefore Ketu will also give results of the 10th house. Okay, I mean Jupiter is the 10th Lord. And you know Rahu Ketu gives results of planets that aspect them also. Okay, so in my opinion, uh, when Ketu Mahadasha starts, the person can move towards teaching and consulting because uh, this Saturn is also the Lord of the 9th house. Okay, so therefore this can also help. So that will be all from my side and uh, if you have any questions or queries uh, then please let me know in the comments and if you are confused about how chart then don't worry don't freak out don't panic uh, just go and watch my how chart video all right thank you very much if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation please go to my website down below all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him